I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast view Capricorn for the week of September the 19th. Now, um, Mercury is still retrograde, and yes, I just launched a website in Mercury retrograde. Not something I would advise anyone to do. I've had my fair share of technical issues, which I've had to work through. Um, but, you know, that's life. I mean, uh, as I say, life doesn't always wait for Mercury to come out of retrograde. So sometimes you just have to push forward and, uh, you know, go ahead with your plans. And that's exactly what I've done. So we've had a makeover, a facelift, and a new domain. Everything has been redirected to jenniferangel.com. Um, so if you if you're reading me on other sites around the place then I would really ask if you would start following me on jenniferangel.com and uh, there's a reason for that and I will reveal that to you by the end of the month uh, but I have everything on there the daily weekly monthly horoscopes and lots of other content it's all free of course so that would be great um, I'm sure you'll understand why when I reveal that to you later. All right, so let's have a look at what's going on. We've got two uh, aspects with um, Mercury and Pluto this week. Mercury is going to try and Pluto twice. At the start of the week, when it's, <clears throat> retro when it's uh, retrograde, it's going back at a um, hitting a exact degree of, with Pluto. And then after it comes out of retrograde, because it does come out of retrograde this week, hooray, uh, and starts to push forward again, then um, it's going to hit that, hit that exact degree again. So for, for you Capricorn, or for us, I mean, Pluto is in our sign. So anything that happens with this power planet can be quite, uh, you know, amazing and powerful, intense. Uh, <clears throat> and with... Uh, Mercury is a planet of communication and commerce, uh, so and it sits in our ninth house. So it's almost like our, our what we want to do on a soul level. Great for long-term plans. Great for get, getting discussions about setting up things that are going to be good for us and serve us in the long term rather than the short term. Um, international business comes under here as well as well dealing with just uh, different cultures on a personal level. Um, you, it, it is the area of truth. <laughs> so, you know, you can have like a truth serum. Be careful of what you say to who and how you say it. Sometimes it's not actually what you say, it's how you say it. But, you know, in this case, it, with, with uh, um, in this position, it can be actually what you say. Try not to be sort of brutally honest. And, you know, that's... Um, so, I mean, I have to be careful of because I have Sagittarian rising, but uh, um, you know, it, it, helps, it helps us get in touch with who we are, um, what we want to say, and how we want to say it. So, it helps us to stand in our circle of truth, but in the process of that, you want to put a little bit of diplomacy in there take a leaf out of Libra's book all right now talking about Libra the Sun is moving into Libra and for us that's our solar 10th house to join Jupiter planet of abundance and expansion and um, Venus planet of love and money so you know our career can really go ahead at the moment or something about uh, business level and with um, Venus in there, then it can be good money-wise as well. So, I mean, we, we do occupy the 10th house. <clears throat> Part of who we are is to make a difference in the world through our career. And right now, um, <clears throat> excuse me, something new can come up for us. We, can, we certainly can change direction to follow a new career path, which can be uh, um, a, a per per more purposeful purposeful for us so you know it's a it's a very positive time Venus also moves will move at the end of the week into an area of social um, outings and social arena and um, friendships so that's very nice too great for networking so with everything all this going on in our business level Venus moves into the seventh house helps us connect with people get out there and network so it's all very positive, I feel. Um, however, keep in mind, Mercury is 
coming out of retrograde this week, which means it's going to be somewhat unsettled, all right? So what happens at the start of the week may not be how the week finishes up. So don't prejudge anything. Wait to see what comes through and uh, what opens up for you. So life can have some surprising twists. I hope so. All right, love and luck to you. I hope you have a great week. See you next week.